<laughs> You're watching Vini TV, the world's most fortified wine media, and my name is Ilka Siren, and this is Fortified Friday. What is Fortified Friday? Well, I must admit that in the past couple of years I've become a fan of fortified wines, particularly port wine, sherry, Madeira, and but the thing is that I don't see really many people talking about fortified wines, so this is kind of my attempt to make conversation with you people about fortified wines, port wines, sherry wines, Madeiras, whatever. So the first wines that we have is Dao's 10 year old Tony from Douro, Portugal. Uh, I worked in Douro Valley 2008 and I absolutely love the region. And Tony, if you, if you have to categorize port wines, you usually categorize them as uh, bottle aged and barrel aged. And bottle age usually include vintage, you know, LBVs, kind of rubies and all that kind of stuff. And then you have Tonys, Colletas, which is kind of vintage Tony, and this is Doves. And Doves is a, a house that I'm actually, uh, it, it's been in the past couple of years a, a house that I'm actually prefer in a way because they're usually a bit drier in style. Uh, I feel that in many times if, if the port one is too sweet, the sweetness uh, of the port kind of hides the complexity of the characters of the blended wines. And Tony as uh, a blended, I mean, Tony as best is a huge, huge opportunity to, for the master blenders and the winemakers to show their skills uh, and blend different vintages, different vineyards and obviously in vineyards also grape varieties. But anyways, let's give this a smell. It's a nice concentration. I mean, it's not overly kind of this raisin aromas. Uh, usually these uh, tonis are aged in Villanova de Gaia, which is uh, on the opposite ri river uh, of Porto, close to the coast. So it's more uh, cooler climate in a way than Douro. Some people do age their wines in the Douro Valley as well but they tend to get more this caramelized because it's hotter there so they tend to get these caramelized aromas uh, and some people partially age them so they blend them with the wines that they age in Villanova de Gaia anyways back to the wine let's taste it this 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 sort of kind of uh, edgy elegance I don't know if you can even say that, but it's edgy elegance. You have this kind of raw kind of grip on the mouth. I mean, you feel the kind of tannins, but it's not too harsh. It's kind of this velvet in a way, and smooth almond-like uh, flavors on the palate. Let's taste it again. I mean, this is a decent Tony port, you know. This is one of those wines that you, you want to slow clap it, you know slow clap I mean a very decent port wine I like their style if you have haven't been in Dor Valley uh, those is a definitely house you should visit for example Quinta de Bonfim which is in right smack in the middle of Doro in the in the small city or town of uh, uh, Pinyon anyways this was the first wine of fortified Fridays uh, you can see the hashtag here or here depends where I'm gonna put it hashtag uh, Fortified Friday so you can talk about Fortified uh, wines in general in Twitter and also please comment down below here if you're not gonna comment Come on. I need your comments. Let's discuss about uh, Fortified wines also. There's a little share button here 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 or here somewhere here uh, you can click it and you know like it plus one it on Google plus uh, tweet it whatever you need to do it really helps us out. Anyways, cheers and see you next week on Fortified Fridays. Cheers.